Hey everybody, Luxenda Swirl here. All right, so I got this set of alcohol ink markers a while ago, and I've, you know, used it for a couple little tiny things, but I was trying to figure out what to do with it that would be a more advanced project, uh, and I finally figured it out. Now, a lot of people use these types of markers, alcohol ink markers, to make tie-dye cups by drawing, basically, a tie-dye pattern on a tumbler. And that really, even though I'm a dried up old hippie, that really didn't appeal to me at all. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, I tried something a little different and I ended up with this cup here. Got cute little guys on the bottom. It's got some cute little guys on the back, but you know, it's a pretty cup. So if you're interested in seeing what I did, if you can't figure it out already, it's pretty obvious. Come on along and watch me make this cup.
I am going to seal this before I put resin on it, definitely. After all that, I don't want the colors to run together. <laughs> so, stay tuned. And we're back. Okay, so we have a nice layer of resin on our tumbler, and it looks good, and it's smooth, and it's pretty, and I'm happy with it. So now, how am I going to address this mess? <laughs> uh, I think the easiest way is to cover it up, uh, rather than trying to find washi that, that does this, because that's probably not happening. I have some wonderful, cute uh, clip art stickers here that I'm just going to artfully place, hopefully, along that general path and see if we can't cover some things up. I, I made them in different sizes. This is being, I printed these, this is uh, printable vinyl. This is the Nito brand glossy printable vinyl. Works on laser and inkjet. I happen to print on an inkjet because I seem to get better results than I do from my laser, but that doesn't, that doesn't include anybody else's laser. It's just, it's just my color laser printer is, uh, let's see, where can I put these guys? I'm trying to use up as much as I can. Anyway, I want to uh, let you know, and it's down in the description area, the links to the Neato brand, beautiful, glossy, look at the detail, picks up the detail. Uh, I like it. I like using it a lot, and they are having a big sale right now. Even though it's not August yet, it's already live. They're having a sale from now, whenever you see this, through the end of August 2021. And uh, it's 30% off anything that you order from them. Your entire order will be 30% off. So please visit the description below. There's a link there and uh, the discount code. Please make use of it. Get yourself a really, really good deal on some wonderful printable vinyl. One more that isn't too pushy. I already got that. Let's do this one. I haven't used this one yet. I do occasionally have trouble. This is my Cricut's problem, not the vinyl's problem. <laughs> my Cricut, I think, needs a new blade. I've had it for more than a year now and I haven't changed the blade yet. <laughs> I don't use it that much, that's my justification. I do have a new blade coming. In fact, I'm getting my new blades uh, regularly now, or I will be. I've signed up for, um, you know, Amazon subscribe and, and save. They have one of the many, many things they offer are Cricut blades. So I have a Explore Air 2 and they have the blades for that. So that'll make it easier. I won't have to think about it. I'll just get a new blade every so often. I'm not gonna worry about these at the top. They're kind of, yeah, they don't bother me any. All right, so now I need to put basically on the other side of this, 
let's turn this around. All right, so that's approximately to the other side. Yeah, that looks about right. <laughs> oh, I'll take a look. Uh, it's sort of hard to tell. We'll go with here. So that's probably where it already was. Oop. Okay. Now I'm going to use a water slide for this. Same um, cute cacti. And then I added my own text after thinking about what kind of saying I would like to put on this. So I'm just going to cut this out. I mirrored it because I like to put my water slides face down and then pull the backing paper off. If you prefer to do it the other way, then obviously you would not mirror your text. You would have it printed how you want it like this. You would get it wet and then you would slide the paper off from underneath it. Both ways work. This is the way I choose to do mine. I find it's easier, but I know other people like the other way better and that's cool. All right. I am currently using the Sunny Scopa water slide paper. I like it a lot. It's a little tougher. It seems to hold up better, uh, be re more resistant to tearing and scrunching up and all the other problems water slides can have. So I, I like this a lot. This is currently my preferred. I am going to be trying some, some of the new Hippo brand uh, at some point in the future. But for right now, Sunny Scopa is my water slide paper of choice. And I printed on my inkjet printer. I seal it with two layers of Rust-Oleum clear spray, matte or gloss, doesn't matter, whatever you have. And uh, then a final layer of Plasti Dip Glossifier and links to everything will be down below. So here we go. It also seems to uh, let go, the backing paper seems to let go faster. I don't have to wait as long once I put it in the water. I also have my silicone squeegee tool, which I find works best for getting the uh, water out and the wrinkles and everything from underneath once I've got it on the cup. Again, you don't have to use this. You can use whatever you prefer. Okay, here we go. but seriously not a hugger obviously the cactus has to do with the fact that it's this is not what I would uh, classify as serape it's serape style but I did not try and imitate an actual serape poncho or blanket or anything like that it's just you know it's a reach I suppose but I like how it looks and I like the saying and I like the graphic I like my little cacti so it all makes me happy. So now what happens is I let this dry thoroughly. Uh, for me, that's usually overnight because I just, I just want to make sure there's no rush on this anyway. Um, and then tomorrow I will spray the entire cup with a couple layers of Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Spray. I'll put another layer of resin over it and pretty much call it done at that point. I just remembered, I thought it would be fun to put a cacti on the bottom here too. So let's do that. We'll, we'll use another one of our stickers. There's one. There's another. Ta-da! All right, so I'll bring you back for the big reveal at the end. Stay tuned. <laughs> 